So there's an alligator. Where'd it go? Right there. Mommy, what if you what if you dropped your phone all the way down here? I'm holding it. Good morning guys it's a uh, quarantine day 400 at least that's what it feels like my husband and i are gonna go on a bike ride our city is officially like under a stay-at-home order but they do let you leave your house to work out and like at least get the recommended 30 days or 30 days 30 minutes of um workout that i can't remember if it's the who or the cdc that recommends it and that's pretty much the only structured activity that I have planned for today because we've just kind of been winging it you know the first day I was really optimistic I made a chart and everything like we had it together and then um and then nothing matters anymore so I saw a meme that said we can all start pronouncing the L and salmon again because nothing matters anymore I kind of feel like that's been my attitude this week like throwing caution out the window. Who cares? Nothing matters anymore. Dessert for breakfast. We're having chocolate waffles, which basically taste like brownies. Good morning. Good morning. Both of them are in my bed this morning. the best friends in the world guys so my friends stopped by they did a drive-by nobody got out of the car we're still social distancing um but she left this at my doorstep and everything has been lysoled so no worries in case you were concerned and they sent me a goodie bag so we're planning a girls night like a virtual girls night and this is and they made like goodie bags for the girls night if you've been watching my vlog for a while you've seen my friends before we did a mukbang road trip to try the Impossible Whopper, and I can actually link that up in the eye above. That's what we're gonna do. We're waiting on our friend Angie that lives in Colorado to get her package, and then we're gonna do that. Stuff like that really helps you stay uh, sane during this incredibly isolating time. So I'm excited about that, and I'm really glad that they thought about this. I think that they got the idea from a TikTok. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they got the idea from a TikTok, so. I'm telling you, man, TikTok is saving lives over here. <laughs> yeah. Daddy needs to plan a boys' night with you. So, baby, have to cook up? Um, you guys can Skype. Huh? You guys can Skype on video or huh? FaceTime. What's FaceTime? So today has not been productive at all. Remember in the beginning, in my last vlog, how we did so many projects around the house? Well, we've, I'm kind of over that. <laughs> we're past it. We did all the painting we were gonna do, all the updating that we were gonna do, all the outside projects we were gonna do. And today I've basically been doing nothing. Pretty much that's it. Oh, we're gonna do homework, yeah. Cause I still have school going on. Not like I have the mindset to think about that, but so we still gotta finish it. Can you hear the birds in the background? I'm very thankful for the fact that we have, um, that we have a backyard because this has really been like a lifesaver in times when like, I feel like I just need to get out of the house. But now with all the parks being closed, um, <laughs> don't worry guys, I don't have coronavirus. I just sneeze because my allergies are out of control. It needs to rain. It hasn't rained in 15 days and there's so much pollen in the air. It's literally suffocating. But like I was saying, I'm really glad that we have a backyard, that we have a porch. I have that hammock that I lay out here when the kids are driving me crazy. I lock them in the house and I come out here. <laughs> and like right now, my husband and I are just sitting here. 
the kids are inside. Who knows what they're doing? They're it's every man for themselves right now. But there's a lot of peacefulness back here. And I'm just glad I'm not living in an apartment locked up, not being able to be out because I would go crazy. See, there they go, calling me. Hi. So it is um, Tuesday. I actually woke up this morning um, and I decided that I was gonna be uh, productive. <coughs> I have a stupid dry cough that I've had forever. Um, that's all I have. I think it's allergies. It hasn't rained here in like 16, 17 days. So, so I'm going to get ready. Uh, got up this morning, washed my hair, put some skincare on, and now I'm going to do my makeup. Today I have class and, and then I think that I'm going to do grocery shopping for just a couple of things. Like I need eggs, cheese, couple of fresh stuff like fruits. I need strawberries, blueberries, bananas, um, just like the fresh stuff. And it's gonna just be like a quick in and out because ain't nobody got time to be hanging out at the grocery store. I don't film inside the grocery store because I don't like to, like I only take my key and my credit card with me and a bottle of hand sanitizer, like a little bottle of hand sanitizer and I leave my phone in my pocket so that I'm not touching it and then bringing all that stuff home. Um, and I even wear like a little thing over my head so I don't, so my hair doesn't collect a bunch of stuff and I wear my mask. So what have you guys been doing? Do you guys still do your makeup every day? I don't do it every day, but I try to do it often because it really does make me feel good. The last time that I went out before yesterday was to do groceries last week. So we drove around, we got in the car. I told my husband, let's get in the car. Let's just drive around. You know, we don't have to put the windows down. We'll just drive around, look at the scenery do something because I have to get out of this house. So, and we can't go to the parks anymore because those are closed as well. Uh, so we got in the car and we drove down the intercoastal. We saw the ocean, drove town, downtown area. There was a lot of people walking, but everybody was doing a really good job at social distancing. Like you would see people like move over um, on like the grass to stay away from the person on the sidewalk. A lot of people riding their bikes, keeping a distance. So everybody's doing a really good job at social distancing. Uh, the stores were all closed, obviously, downtown. It was so weird to see downtown area empty. Like, all the restaurants were closed. Duffy's was closed. Starbucks was closed. Everybody was closed. And it was just weird to see it. So, Influencer sent me the Ula Henriksen, let's see what it's called, Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I'm excited about trying this because it's not a like oily vitamin C. It's more of like a lightweight serum and I'm excited about trying this one. So far the one that I use is the Drunk Elephant one. So this one, let's see if I can do it with one hand. No, I can't do that with one hand. Okay, so it comes out, oh, maybe I can. Ooh, oh, see it's more um, like a gel, not so much and oil. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one and see if I like it. Okay, so I'm done getting ready. This is what I'm gonna look like for today. And now I'm actually gonna make lunch. It's about um, 12.49 and I'm gonna try a recipe that I saw um, on Instagram and it looks really good. It's an Instapot recipe and I'm gonna try it and see how it comes out. Funny how it's an Instapot recipe that I found on Instagram. I know, I'm losing it guys. Too many days locked up in the house. <laughs> Good morning guys. So I'm enjoying my breakfast. I'm having some coffee, some bagels, and I'm coloring with Henry. So I have to start getting ready in a little bit because um, I actually have to go into work today. And it's been about three weeks since the last time that I went into work, since all elective procedures have been canceled. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about going into work. I thought about the shoes that I'm going to wear. I'm not wearing my sneakers. Instead, I'm going to wear my Crocs because the ones that don't, I have Crocs that don't have holes in the front. That way I can wipe them down easy. Um, I've already packed like another pair of clothes that I'm taking with me so I can change out of my um, scrubs. I'm Henry's asthmatic. So I've been 
really careful these past couple of weeks with him. And my husband has a history of asthma, so I have to be extra careful. But yeah, those are my plans for today. I'm gonna put on makeup that people are actually gonna see. <laughs> so I'm on my way to work and I am not going to lie, driving feels kind of weird. Like for a minute there, I kind of forgot how to back up out of my house because there's like a, a way that I gotta like turn so that I avoid my husband's car that's parked up next to mine. Um, and I had to like think about it because I haven't done it in like three weeks.